Transport gets a move on at Leighton Buzzard's beds. For weeks, not an old bedstead has been safe. 60 homemade racing cars are due to take the road. It's the town's first soapbox derby. In pits near the starting ramp, there's a last minute rush as mechanics get down to final hotting up. Wheel locks put the pride of Stoke Road in a spot. His rival attends to kingpins and shimmy. Some pin their hopes on fluid wheel steering. Others like to keep a steel grip on the reins. When they're stuck with major troubles, they call in the army. The brown jobs will patch it by numbers. His machines are Pulford Plodder, with a nifty design in brakes. Not all the cars will race. Some are only out on test. The rules of the race are strict. No propulsion is allowed. It cramps the style of a man ready to win or crash. When it comes to tactics, cutting in's the thing. But a swerve up the bank must be nicely timed. They say Jeff Lloyd from Herringay is to judge the race. Leighton Buzzard will show him a thing or two. Just time for last minute advice on tank design. Then the pause before the start. What, off? No. The big fellow's not in the race. Hold your horses, boys. There's the flag. They're off. It's a race run in heats, three cars at a time. The thrills of a TT from the start. Down a one in five ramp come for the 50 bob cars. And can they tear them up? Watch the car on the left. The race will end where he stops. It's dogged as wins in the Leighton Buzzard Soapbox Derby.